Howdy y'all. Welcome to my first video and in this series we're going to be uh, looking at the planning stages of uh, building up a 7S by 10 parallel, 7 in series by 10 parallel, 26 volt nominal 18650 pack. Uh, being as it's my first video I apologize for the poor quality. All I have is a handheld uh, phone and so there's a lot of stills and stuff but hopefully I'll be able to uh, get my thoughts across. What we won't be covering in this video is uh, my setup, uh, how I measured capacity, um, how I charge, that sort of thing. Uh, there's lots of good videos out there on YouTube already. I don't want to do a bunch of redundant stuff. So I'm just going to put stuff in that I hope is helpful to y'all in the community. So what I did is I broke down all my batteries, measured the capacity, and then found my best 70 cells out of that and I had to figure out how to put those into the seven rows so that they would be balanced uh, as well as possible and what I did is I started logging all my batteries on a spreadsheet and on this spreadsheet I, I wrote down all the details that I could off of the uh, batteries so that I could uh, potentially use those for data mining later um, and what I found is that uh, if you take all the cells and then you sort them by capacity then I could put the best 70 cells into the pack in order and if you look on the right here we have them organized from serial 1 to parallel 1 spot in the matrix and every time we get down to uh, the last one in the row then we change directions and we go up the other row and then by the time you get done you have pretty much even uh, packs, parallel packs at the end, uh, there was only a 0.24% difference uh, between the packs by using this method. Uh, so you can't get much more balance than that. Now remember, the numbers aren't what matters. What matters is the numbers relative to each other when you're building a pack. So we started placing these into the matrix in order. They have to be in the order that they are on the list and then we'll get down to the end of the row and we change directions and we start coming back the opposite direction. And then we get to the end of that row and we start back the other way. And if you do that with each one being slightly less than the other, they'll be completely balanced at the end like you see here. We're on row three, row four. continue that on out to the end, you have a completed pack. Notice that uh, each serial row is positive, negative to each other. They're inverted. And that's how we're going to simplify the series pack. So thanks for watching my video. If you stay tuned for the next one, we'll have the actual assembly. You'll see how I do the buses on here, the fuses. Uh, and you'll even get to see the fuses at work, uh, where I drag my solder across my buses a little too closely. And so that proves their adequacy.